Bloop bloop everyone, welcome back to Project Wingman. Next mission will be quite interesting because we will be alone in it. Let's watch the mission briefing again. If you saw it in the last part, then you can just skip it. Um, but if not, then you may want to take a look what we have to do here. Monarch, this is an op just for you. You know I don't like admitting this, but mercenary pilots in this world are among some of the best. They get more airtime, more time on target, than any of us national pilots outside of the periphery. In truth, you get the glamour we all thought fighter pilots were supposed to have when signing up to the Academy. That, you're making five times what I make in a year. I wonder if that's why you went private. But I don't think you're the type to give that answer. Not to me, anyway. What I'm trying to say is, you're capable. More capable than most, getting this far in. And because of that, we need you on deck for a one-man mission. Cascadia's southeastern deserts hosts the Solana Communication Array. It was a Federation and Cascadian telecom venture meant to expand Cascadia's networking capability, regardless of any thermal interference that traditionally plagues long-range communications. With that facility, communications between various Federation units are streamlined, while limiting, jamming, and interrupting our own. Nothing to say of the censorship abilities that are used to enforce the civilian information flow. This is one of the Independence Force's top targets, however it's been outside our strike range until now. Due to its distance from our front lines, no fuel can be wasted dodging or circumventing Federation anti-air systems en route. In short, we're sending you alone to clear up the most disruptive defense systems before we engage in a full-scale operation to knock out the facility. You will insert into the Keohord defense region in the Raver Mountains and take out all critical defense systems under cover of night. The defense system is calibrated for mass aerial strikes, but a lone aircraft flying relatively level with the mountains should be able to slip through and take them out. Dismissed. So, we have to fly very low at night through the mountains. Yeah, nothing could go wrong here. That's great. Um, already looked through all the files. There is nothing new that I could find. So, let's just start the mission. And see what plane we're going to take. Maybe there's a new one we want. It's still only the SK-27, really. Oh, you have the... Oh, no, no, no. The FC-15 has the MGP as well. So you have one dedicated slot for... Some anti-air, then a definitely dedicated slot for anti-air. Okay, you have one slot for anti-air slash multi-purpose. Okay. One completely for anti-air and one completely for anti-ground. That limits your usefulness to me in a way. But it's better than most of the others because you still have three slots. And we could take the MGP here. We could take the MLAAs, I think. And we could take the MLAG. It's unfortunately not the MLAG 2, which is sad. I don't want unguided bombs. I'm just not... It's just not fun to, to fight with them. So MLAGs would be fine, I guess. They're only two missiles, not four, like the MLAG 2s. And use the same amount of ammunition either way, which is sad. <clears throat> or we could just use our trusted MG29 without the HDP. The question is here, do we want the MGP or not? It's an MGP, it's not an HGP, right? Yes, we had the HGP. What is the difference to the MGP? It is a gun pod. But what's the M? What's the meaning of the M? In H, it's probably high explosive or something? Hmm. I can't get a readout here. I'm missing Big Joe right now, who could probably tell me. <laughs> hmm. It is a good plane. It's not as good as this one, though. In every regard. 
Yeah, it's literally worse than everything. This fighter. And it's just bigger. The only difference is the M MGP in here. Hey, Sholael, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Haven't heard of uh, from you in a while. How did your, your move go? I hope everything is fine now and you're happy. With how things turned out. Yeah, the real difference here is the MGP and the M lag, but we could have M lag 2s, which are way better. So I would go for more standard missiles in slot 1, which we don't have in the FC 15, which is sad. So I never run out of standard missiles, whatever I do. I can just spam them around and it doesn't matter. And MLAAs in the second slot, because I don't like unguided bombs. Or unguided rockets, for that matter. Unless we really go ham against Navy. Then unguided rockets could be really good. Like air car uh, aircraft carriers or something, we could shred with those things. If there is even a mission with those, I don't think so. I think the Navy mission was, was the one we already did in the, in the Thunderstorm. And in the last slot, we just take the MLEG 2 and just rip everything apart on the ground. Ah, you're finally in Japan. Great. Oh, you will be fully settled in by tomorrow. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, I hope it's great. And I hope work will be great. What does it mean, fully settled in by tomorrow? So, are you there yet? In your flat or whatever you have? Maybe house or I don't know what you bought. Bought a fridge and washing machine today. And booked a bicycle. Well, that's nice. Cool. Congrats. Yeah, let's take the MG29. I still think it's a, it's the best one we have. Give them, give me the standard missiles, give me the MLAAs, and give me the MLAG 2 because they're amazing. We definitely take flares and not AOAs. And yeah, that's about it, I guess. Is my throttle fine? It kinda is. I need to get rid of some of the fours. Yeah, that's better. I think that should work now. And let's do a mission alone. Alone in the dark. Literally. Monarch, there we go. Okay, galaxy. We should fly low, right? Oh god, maybe we are a little too low now. That was a bad one. I didn't see the mountain coming. Awesome. Yeah, I think you're already underestimating us, guys. Just, just saying. Because your first, uh, the first part is already gone. Oh, there is a MiG coming. Whoa, isn't that neat? Another one. I mean, I hope we're doing the right thing here in how we do this. Uh, I don't think you're breaking, buddy. Apart, yes. Oh, I got uh, last time I got the achievement that I killed 2,000 enemies, which is pretty neat. Come on. Oh god, I hope you guys are not motion sick. Ah, oh, come on. Let's just let's just do it this way and not fancy. Dead is dead. Where's the guy? There he is. It's just a MIG, come on. 
They weren't scary in the beginning, they're not scary now. Gone. Okay, where do we need to go now? Yeah, that looks good. Hello, Mr. Missile. It's not even getting close. Only six? Hitman one locked on. Could you please you stop hitting me with, you with your nonsense? Back. I've heard a lot about why you three joined. Hitman, that is. Comic had a wings clipped. Oh now we get some some backstory, that's neat. Moved in the 1st of July. Tomorrow the fridge and stuff will be delivered and then I will have everything I need to solo adult. Cool. That's pretty good. Yeah, buddy, why are you asking then? Oh yeah, you're not gonna tell me anything, but I'm still asking. I mean, I'm a silent protagonist again, so... Which is sad. Because I like, the, uh, like to know the answers. Where do we need to go now? Yeah, this one. This cluster is the next. I want this, this, yeah, this CRAM. Oh god, that was a lightning bolt? Couldn't get it. What game is this? Project Wingman. We were playing Ace Combat before and I enjoyed it greatly with my new Hotas, which I, you know, bought recently because I wanted to to do some flying again. And uh, I still think Project Wingman is better and that's why we're playing this one. Or actually... I I found it was better again after playing it now for a little bit and it's just it's just so much better. I don't know why. They they made some better decisions like uh, flares are infinite and stuff. It's pretty good. And we're playing on a hard even and I'm I'm crushing people. It's so good. Just one hit even if we hit. Oh god, no, that's not good. Come on. By target? That would be... N oh, yeah, actually we do, yeah. We do get paid by target. I mean, that's a good payout that we're looking at. Because no one else can take this from us. Yes. It is us. It is I. The Great. Not, not Trigger, unfortunately, but... Uh, still great. We're the great monarch. And you are going to fear us like uh, like your god. Come on, I want to get you with my gun. Whatever. Just get rid of him. It's fine. Yes, fear me like a god. Ow, that was a great move, buddy. I My deepest respects. But I can do that too. Apparently not now, though. Don't need to. Damn jousters. I think that was that was only me, the jousting type. Ah, oh, come on, just murder him. It's often not worth waiting for the gunshot. And we don't have the good guns. We don't have the HGPs, otherwise we had we had them in the bag. All of them would be so dead. Just two hits or something, or three hits, and they would be dead. Gone. Next cluster it is. 
But yeah, I really, really, really enjoy flying in this game. It's not perfectly realistic. It's still a little bit arcadey, but uh, it's fun. That's all it needs to be. I should use my yeah. I sh I should use my yaw a little bit more if I need to. Getting someone with a gun, but it's not that easy. Stop hitting me. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth the good missiles. Got him. That's about it. There are flyers on the ground. Is that a helicopter? A P-28? Actually not sure. No, it's not on the ground. Okay. I thought they were sitting in the mountains. Right now. You know what? Just get rid of him. Make him go away. Fox 2, good separation. Cleared for guns. Easy kills. There's a lot of stuff coming. They are sitting on the ground though. It's not killing them, though. And we should kill them before they come up. Oh god, that was a lot of missiles. Hitman one locked on. Oh god. I hope I got rid of the missiles, but I'm not sure. I was a little slow there. I was almost almost dropping out of the freaking sky. Ow. Okay, that might be why. Get rid of these stupid missiles. I think I got all the flyers. One is unfortunately starting. But that's okay. There were way too many missiles around for me to do anything about it. Actually, two have started, apparently. No, bud. No. Where is he? There he is. Well, three have started, it seems. Or maybe there are other... other emplacements like that, like those. That they are using right now. I must be careful though, there are a lot of missiles coming at me at all times. Missile is on the way. Got him. Yeah, just slowing down too much. That was a a fallacy that hit us multiple times. Oh, come on. I should probably not fight him. Uh, until I got rid of these emplacements down here. Bye bye. Okay, got rid of them. Now that should be a lot less missiles coming. Uh, but he is going towards the, the other emplacements. Of course he is. Yep. Need to get rid of that one. Got him? Got him. Have to watch the mountains. Last time we ran into shit, uh, into shit as well. Got him. There it was. Okay. Yeah, we were really close to the mountain. Dangerously close. It was a really, really bad maneuver, but it was good, still. Bad and bad and good, you know, like like things are sometimes. Can't get the other one. Mm, not worth it. And we are alone, so we have to be quite careful here. Ow! Something hit me. Oh 
god. Oh god, and the the mountains. Oh, and the and the nice thunderstorm as well. Mmm, nice. No, you're not gonna do this. So nice to see all of these exploders at once. There's a Sam, there's a Sam, bye bye. Unending amount of flares, just so good. I don't think that missile can hit. Oh, they are inside these containers. Hmm. We could try, but it is quite a bit dangerous here. Got them all, got them all. Got them. Yeah, we can fly through these mountain ranges. And they have started more. It's just helicopters. I think. Yeah, I think those are just helicopters. I didn't really look at them. I looked at the missiles right now. Yeah, it's a helicopter. I think. Otherwise, they wouldn't die with one hit. We have some FC-15s behind us. Not great. Let's get those two. I don't think all of them will be hit. Okay. We can get him, though. At the moment, it, everything is fine. However, he could fire that missile right there. Ah, I got him almost. Got him. Come on, buddy. We need to get closer to a kilometer until I can use my gun. Ah, nominally sci-fi setting? Quite, yes. Uh, in the far future. 400, 500 years in the future? Something like that. After a super volcano um, erupted. Where's that guy? I know you're very slow. And therefore very hard to kill without stalling. Got him. Slow just means it's easier to hit with a gun. Got him. No, not yet. Got him. Got him. Another FC-8, really? The LC... LLCS Dawnman or something? I can't read it. Got him. Got that one too. That's gonna be a payout, guys. Mm -mm. And yeah, we are mercenaries of uh, the Sicario Mercenary Group. And actually, our squad is from the country we are fighting for right now. There was a surprise war declaration at the beginning of the game, after the first mission, um, from the Federation, which is a North American-based uh, coalition, or actually Federation, um, against Cascadia, which was in the Federation, but didn't want to be anymore. Actually, didn't want to, you know be under their regime anymore in a way because it is quite a bad one um, not really I mean it is it is one that uh, tries to harness all the energy that exists in the world and uh, has a monopoly on the energy and therefore control politically and j they just didn't want that to be anymore 
they didn't want to help that anymore because Cascadia is a very small country here. But it is the richest of all in terms of energy of the whole world. And it was Yellowstone actually that exploded. Yellowstone super volcano and caused caused an ice age. Um, and that was 300, 400 years ago. Okay. But it also caused a an element to, to surface that wasn't known before. There's the cipher element, by the way. Oh, that is that is it? Aww. Already? I was just getting in it. After all the stress in the last missions, chill and nice. I almost feel bad, Monarch, for making you come with us tomorrow to hit that communication facility. Especially after what you pulled off tonight, single-handedly. Though that was one hell of a thing you did. And I got a feeling Operation Blackout will need you on point. We have a straight shot to Cascadia Southeast. And, with any luck, we'll have fuel to spare for the fight. Yay! Fuel Sorry to spare! Mobilizing en masse tomorrow morning. Get some sleep. This war isn't gonna win itself. Yeah, Sicario is our mercenary group. And our squad, um, Hitman, actually, Hitman squad. Monarch is our designation, but uh, Hitman is our squad, and the Hitman squad is made off, uh, off of people from Cascadia, by chance, by random things. Um, which means we are really in it for the for the win here, even though we are mercenary, um, but we, we are really invested in this, uh, RP-wise. So, we hit a lot of things, actually. 20 LSAMs, pretty neat. Radar, comm tower... Normal, two normal SAMs as well. Interesting. L is probably long range, I would guess. C RAM is some C -wiz nonsense. Okay, 22k payout. It's pretty good. We didn't buy the the fighter, so we have 100k in bank right now. Maybe we get a new one. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Uh, I should have. We we will look at this after. Uh, I ended the episode. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave me a like if you liked. Sub my YouTube if you haven't. Follow me on Twitter and on Twitch and come to Discord and I see you there. Bloop bloop and bye bye.